Trump launched another counterattack against Omarosa Mangold Newman, charging that she violated a non-disclosure agreement by calling the president a racist and dishing other West Wing dirt. Donald Trump's campaign wants her to be fined millions of dollars for the supposed breach, the Washington Examiner reported Tuesday. See also Furious Trump blasts Summer Rosa as a dog and infuriated President Trump continued his counteroffensive against ousted aid. Donald J. Trump for President Incorporated has filed an arbitration against Omar Rosa Mangold Newman with the American Arbitration Association in New York City for breach of her 2016 confidentiality agreement with the Trump campaign, a campaign official told the paper. President Trump is well known for giving people opportunities to advance in their careers and lives over the decades, but wrong is wrong, and a direct violation of an agreement must be addressed and the violator must be held accountable. Newman, a former star of Trump's reality show The Apprentice, enraged the president after publishing Unhinged, her book about her time in the White House. Trump had appointed her to be a liaison to the African-American community, paying just under $180,000 a year, the highest salary possible for such positions. But she was canned by Chief of Staff John Kelly in December, and her scathing tell-all portrays the commander-in-chief as a clueless knave who was unfit for office, among other things, charges that have driven Trump to unleash a furious Twitter attack on her. The president called her crazed, a low life and a dog on Tuesday following a string of TV appearances that began on the weekend in which she detailed her charges, saying she had heard Trump utter the N-word on the set of his reality show. The campaign is also furious that Newman recorded private conversations with Trump and other White House officials, including with Kelly when he fired her in the Situation Room, where recordings are not allowed. Newman said she did not sign an NDA regarding her job at the White House. But the campaign contends that the agreement she signed while working on Trump's 2016 campaign remained in effect. Under the agreement, she was required to keep information about the president, his companies or family under wraps, and never to disparage the Trump family during the term of your service and at all times thereafter, the paper reported. In arbitration, which both sides agreed to in the non-disclosure agreement, each agreed to allow an arbitrator, often a retired judge, to hold a hearing. The arbitrator, after hearing evidence, can dismiss the charge or slap her with a fine. But it was unclear if the agreement was binding, experts said. Donald Trump cannot muzzle federal employees, Brian Hoss, an attorney with the AFCLU, told USA Today.